Okay, um, so to create a customized view menu, what we could do is use what's called the view command. And any function that we create here, we can um, add to the view. So for example, I could take the sim replacement function and if I type view and then in quotes um, rename this to plot the let's see plot the function okay and for plot now remember that plot is replacing the symbolic view so let's say here this is where we could say something like enter in a function okay so these two entries will appear when I press the menu key and what I will see is plot the function and enter in a function and um, I don't have to do this for the sim and plot I could actually create another function down here let's say um, third menu entry so if I do view this is the third option and um, since uh, my app is called example I'll do example or I usually do something like eg and then we'll do a third option and begin end and let's just put up a message box that says you picked option three exclamation point okay so um, let's go ahead and save all of this go back to our calculator go into our app okay make sure that we in fact did see all those changes get saved okay so I did now um, if I check I probably will see no errors um, but before I, I uh, actually run this, so we created this this function called eg third option, and I should actually um, declare that as a function up here. Okay. Um, this is important; otherwise, we can't actually call it. And and if you're familiar with like C or something or many other do, um, programming languages, we kind of have to declare. Um, global variables and um, external functions up at the top so let's go ahead and exit and actually start our app now so now when we press view so plot the function enter in a function and this is the third option let's select this as the third option and see if it doesn't work oh, okay so it does work you picked option three fantastic so that's how we can create a customized view menu um, we can also customize our app and uh, go into the into the info and edit this is an example app uh, so um, we can then change the behavior of our our app so that for example um, when it first starts so here this is run when we initialize and what we can actually do is send it to the the info screen which is screen 6 let's check everything is okay let's exit go back to our apps and start restart it so that now did you see I don't know if you noticed that but now when we start we see that message box that says our app was initialized and then it takes us to our our info screen and this is probably where you would enter in things like the description of your app and directions that you know people can read uh, to familiarize, bleh, I can't talk. Familiarize themselves with uh, your app. So um, let's see. Let's go ahead and since we made changes in our in our uh, calculator, um, let's go and refresh this. So if I click on applications and that was example app, go to my programs what I should see is right there that change was saved and if you want to know um, more about the, the view screens 
as well as what else you can replace uh, from a uh, one of the basic apps. Um, in the manual on page 552 is an explanation for the different view screens. So z uh, screen 0 would be the symbolic view, uh, screen 1 is plot, and so on. And some of these may uh, exist on some of those apps. And for example, I think it's the spreadsheet app. Uh, these don't uh, apply. So um, anyway, that's start view. And let me see if I can bring up the other function. So these are the built-in functions that you can replace. And here's a quick description on that. Uh, that's page 527 in, in the manual. So you can replace the sim and sim setup, plot, plot setup, num, num setup. Uh, apparently, you can also do info. So you can, you can create uh, a replacement for the, um, the info uh, key. Um, so that it, it does something completely different from, you know, from, let's see, from seeing. So here, click OK. This is an example app. Um, so you can do something completely different from this. You can have it maybe even uh, have uh, shift info plot a function. But anyway, I think we've done some crazy things uh, for this app already, and we don't need to confuse our users uh, even more. So that's, again, page 527 on, on the manual. And I believe, what was it, 552 for the other page? Yeah, for start view, in case you're curious about those two particular commands. Um, before I end the video, though, I do want to make one last comment. Um, because we are um, using either the actual calculator to program or, at best, the HP Connectivity Kit to program, um, there is the possibility that um, either um, something goes wrong with our calculator or the Connectivity Kit or even the emulator. And so this is very important that you, um, it's very important that you back up whatever it is you're working on. Um, I actually have one uh, alternative that I, I really recommend, um, which is to do all of your all of your editing on, say, something like Notepad, just a text editor. Save all your work there, then copy it on over to, you can actually copy it directly into um, um, you know the um, program editor. So you know if you're doing this on the emulator, and then you can also test everything out first before you finally send it to your calculator. So again, that's use a uh, use an external editor. Don't use the connectivity kit, uh, even though I did that in this um, video. Um, but then when you actually want to transfer it, of course, then you will have to use the connectivity kit. But the idea is edit your code in a text editor copy it over onto the uh, program editor. Once so open up whatever it is you want to edit, copy it here, use the check um, button to make sure everything is syntactically correct, um, and then go ahead and run it and test it on here. So once you do that, if everything works, and presumably you may have made some edits, what you can then do is, within the connectivity kit, go and refresh. And what it'll do is it will pick up, you know, whatever changes you made. In this case, to our example app, if you made any changes, it will pick up the changes that you made in the emulator, and then you can copy this and replace your old uh, source in the um, the text editor. It seems a bit clunky, but this is to prevent things like, you know, either the connectivity kit crashing, the emulator crashing, your calculator crashing, uh, um, and then losing all that stuff. So. Uh, again, just a, a quick tip. Uh, you don't necessarily have to follow that, but um, this is just to avoid um, potential loss of data. Okay, so thank you for watching, and uh, in my next video, I'll actually show you how to create a more sophisticated app. So we'll do something like Newton's method um, based off of the function app. So until then, um, thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you guys next video.